But the tricky thing about cancer is, have you ever gone, have you ever bought a house and you see like, you know, the switch circuit board, right? Mm -hmm. And they're not labeled. And that's really annoying. And you don't want to have to reset your routers and log into your Netflix and all this stuff all over again if you knock all of them down. But that's what cancer is. So you could have like a house and you could say, okay, this is a residential house. This is colon cancer. This is a office space. This is breast cancer. So like I have an idea of like what the climate of that place looks like. And, and you know, obviously if, if one place is an office that has, you know, a bunch of computers and all that, that, it has some features that put it all the same. But when you go into those circuit boards, colon cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, they all like, you don't know what, imagine a thousand switches and all of them. You don't know which ones were flipped in that colon cancer versus somebody else's. And if that, and if that isn't hard enough to conceive, like there's no fingerprint until recently, and we're going to talk about that, on where you could say, this is the mechanism. This is the, the one circuit switch that was like flipped and therefore it's no longer being, you know, like regulated in your body and it's turned into a cancer. What people don't appreciate is once you start giving therapy and you do that, what's called selection pressure, you're like putting stress on the cancer cell, that cell at some point of that therapy is going to just basically say, I don't need this switch anymore. And it's going to flip another one. And suddenly this other switch that if we're lucky, we even know exists, then is the reason that this cancer cell is still able to grow and divide. So that's the progression. So people are like, oh, they were, I had a good response to my chemo, but then it just went through. It didn't cure it. Yes, it killed all that population until another switch on the circuit board and you have to start all over. And then how do you predict which one in you versus me is going to be switched? And that's, I think that's that concept. If you're listening to this, that's what makes difficult using the word a silver bullet or the cure for cancer. It they're all different houses and different circuit boards in each one. And during the very process of, of treatment initiation, some other switches are going to be flipped. You've made it through this video and I am super stoked. Hopefully you feel a lot more knowledgeable and even somewhat comfortable about the crazy world of cancer. If you did like comment, but especially just share if nothing else to get this information out so that hopefully people are less intimidated by something that's as scary as cancer would be a big win. And we look forward to seeing you here next time.